Hello! Good evening, everybody. We're going to be playing some Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku today. I'm going to go through the whole series. There's three games. They go through the entire Dragon Ball Z story, which, as the title suggests, I think is the better way to experience it, because the show is pretty freaking long. Uh, I am going to be using a cheat code on this one, because otherwise it is fucking impossible to, to beat... It's so, so goddamn hard. <laughs> the sequels are not as bad, but yeah, this one's pretty, pretty freaking hard. I haven't streamed as much lately, or rather, I only miss one day, because uh, I was playing board games with my sibling, which I'm going to prioritize that over you guys, sorry. It's a little, little bit more important to me. Um... Mm hmm Yep, this is just explaining the beginning of the game. All right, now we gotta do. We could talk to everybody, but um, I gotta pick up all of these magazines for Master Roshi, and then that leads to uh, what's what's his face? The oh gosh, what's his name? The the first saying that comes up, he pops up after that, so. Yeah, these are pretty, pretty simple puzzles and things. Uh, the combat is pretty ridiculous, and there's a maze towards the fucking end that I hope I don't need to look up, but I might. Hey, I got a sensu bean. The sensu beans are pretty important in these games because they're just full heals. Hey. There he is. Kakarot! So, this first game is gonna be the, um, this guy arc. I seriously cannot remember his name. Um, I keep wanting to say Yamcha, but that's incorrect. And then, uh, the Saiyan arc and the Frieza arc. Frieza slash Namek arc. And the sequel is pretty much the Android and Cell saga, and then the last one is the Boo saga. Um, I should be able to get through these pretty quick. They're not incredibly, like, complicated or long games. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's something to remember for the beginning is that, like, Piccolo was the big bad of the original Dragon Ball series, so seeing him just show up to help everybody was pretty, pretty strange. Here we go. Oh, I did need to push that. So hopefully I got that code right. Um, because if I didn't, I'm going to need to restart. Uh, let's see. Oh, and as a s simple thing, yeah. You, you can kill the squirrels and it does get you experience points, but uh, I would recommend, like, not, because it's just a dick move. There's Chi Chi. Oh no. Alright, so. Let me see if I can remember where to go. It's been a long time. Snake. Watch out for the snakes. I think actually you do have to kill off the squirrels to uh, get the experience. Crab. And yeah, it's a pretty simple like brawler. Nope, I did the I did the uh code wrong. Whoops. Oh well. Maybe it's not even implemented in this version. Who knows? But I think I should be able to do better. I think I was just really bad at it as a kid. Um But I do remember never being able to beat it without the code. Which is just, it's like half of the Konami code, it's just up, down, left, right, B, A, start. But yeah, I think I just did it wrong. Oops. They're, um, it's pretty simple adventure games. It's, it's honestly like the best Dragon Ball Z games, because all the other ones are like fighting games or like some pseudo-adventure thing. That one like, DBZ Universe or whatever, the like, um... 
the, the what was it like an MMO kind of? I don't know. Whoop. But yeah, it's it's a lot of this. Honestly, like there are big boss fights against the actual Saiyans and stuff, but for the most part, it's just a lot of shooting. Hopefully, hopefully it does not take me too too long to get through these. Oh, there we go. All right, and uh, more snake. You definitely like you want to level up as much as you can, so like. Killing everything that you possibly can is pretty useful. Especially later on when you get into like the Namek arc. Um, although that's mostly, by my understanding, a, a maze. Hmm, how do I get up there? And yeah, there, there is also melee, but like there's no reason to use melee for the most part because this regenerates immediately and you get your ass kicked pretty quick if you uh, if you mess around this game specifically is a little boring in comparison to some of the other games in the series because then in the later games you get to like switch characters out and stuff and there's uh, a lot more side stuff that you can do so there's a lot more interesting things to be done uh, no where the fuck do I go I know that you like go off to a side and then you like run into like other characters and other creatures and things, but I can't remember how to get there. My god, oh my god. When you said there was a snake problem, I wasn't kidding. So many. Yeah, I remember playing this in high school and just being overwhelmed by so much of what was happening. Um, whoa, wolf, 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 right, right, the wolves are out of control, hold on, hold on, I gotta eat a senzu bean, there we go, yeah, that's the thing, is like, a lot of these early enemies are not too hard, but then they start going fast, and then, it's a lot of panicked button mashing. Although, you do get other, uh, whoa. Right. That's how you fly. Um, you do get other, like, key moves, I think they're called? The, the energy blast stuff. You do get more later on, but starting off, you only have these ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 he's coming. Whoop. Oh, shit, 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 shit. This is also uh, one of those games where when you die, you're just done. The game's over, and you have to start from your last save. So it's important to save fucking constantly. Senzu Bean. Nice. We'll just take it out. Alright. Um. Then. Oh, ah, crap. I used up all my fly power. Oh, that's not good. I think I'm going to need that later. Oh, well. Hopefully it wasn't too important. Uh, yep. Done. Can't do anything there. Okay, I think that's everything in this area. So, I can move on. It. Whoop. Wow. I feel bad hitting the squirrels every friggin' time, but it's gotta be done. Uh, can I go inside? I think there's some stuff. Nope, nothing. Uh, mail? Nope. Eh, whatever. Moving on. Uh, whoop. Oh, right, I have to go around to get there.
Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I should be able to get those orbs because it's not, uh, you don't really get to come back, if I remember correctly. Hmm. I don't know. Attacks. Yeah, I only have the one attack. Okay. I can work with that. Oof, I hope my phone doesn't die. I forgot to charge it before the stream. It's only to see the chat and stuff, which I can technically see with the, uh, stream itself. But I don't want to be caught unawares. Okay, and then this is where the first quote-unquote puzzles happen. Alright, and then the egg. That's, I'm pretty sure, not the egg right there. I think that is just a uh, rock. But let's let's look anyways. Mmm. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna be kind of going through the motions with this first one because it's it's like I said, it's pretty short and simple compared to the other ones. There's a lot of little quests and stuff, but it's pretty streamlined. Um, it's also very hard, so I'm gonna be very careful. Not to die too quick. Whoops. Speaking of which. Come on. Go down. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. He's trapped. Nope. Well, he's trapped for a minute. And then what's my... Experience. Okay. Yeah, this one was just a simple idea compared to the other ones where they really expanded on the concept of, like, what can you do with the Dragon Ball game? I'm gonna hit a Sensu Bean real quick, because two wolves is too much. Yeah, I wish that invulnerability cheat had worked. I think if I save and reset, I can use it again from the beginning Whoa. but I'm not certain <laughs> Man. yeah I oh hey it is Tien and Chiaotzu yeah Ah, oh, shit. Well, I think, uh, I think we're gonna try that again. Alright, let's, uh, let's try this again. Up, down, left, right, B, A. Start. New game. There's supposed to be, like, a chime, but I can't hear the audio when I'm streaming this way, so nothing to do. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, I'm gonna do... <laughs> it's kind of a cheesy way to do it, but I'm gonna do this, uh... I'm gonna basically get through to where I can see if I'm gonna take damage. And then, if I didn't do the code correctly, I'm gonna start over again. Alright, just gotta mash through. What was this guy's name? I don't... He's such a minor part, like, he's, um, I'm pretty sure they catch and, like, stop him within the first volume of the manga. Which is what makes it, like, one of the most satisfying, like, m like, volumes of manga ever. It's a full arc in just one, one book. But, yeah, I don't, I can't remember his goddamn name. Alright. Yep, yep, get on the cloud. 
All right, let's find a snake. See if we see if we can get hurt. Bite me. Bite me. Bite me. Uh, maybe the crabs. Hmm. I can. Uh. Hold on. Shit. Um, okay. I'm gonna reset and try that again. And I'm also going to... Make sure to edit the game controls to the D-pad. Yeah, so it'll be a little easier to input this. <clears throat> so, yeah. Reset. Or, mm, do I want to reset? I remember this one had a bunch of... Uh, I'm going to take a quick break to reset here, so BRB, folks.
Okay, okay. That did it. I'm, I'm like, m pretty sure that did it right. So let's, uh, do this. Ah, <sighs> gotta go through the beginning of the game again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Shouldn't take too long. But yeah, I'm pretty positive that I did it correctly this time. Um, oh yeah. I'm also gonna switch back to using the analog stick. Because the PlayStation... Whoops. PlayStation D-pad sucks. Uh, no. And then we're gonna start select. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, correct. Okay. Gotta get the magazines from Master Roshi. Whatever. I mean, it's the guy who made... Oh, shit, I fucked that up, didn't I? This game, um... No, I did that correctly. Okay, um... Right. Yeah, this game is Akira Toriyama, which, uh, while he is a manga anime godfather at this point, uh, his humor is pretty gross, to be frank. Like, he made Dr. Slump and everything, which was pretty, pretty gross. Um... And, like, yeah, everything with Master Roshi. He is a nasty, nasty man. Um, I'm also going to be doing probably a glitch later where what happens is you... You f basically fly into an energy blast during any of the boss fights. As long as you don't fly again during that boss fight you are invulnerable, which is just a glitch, but it's pretty useful. All right. Something they don't really say as much in this game is uh, when Goku shows up with Gohan in this scene, he it has not told anyone that he has a child. Like they knew he was married to Chi Chi, but like the fact that he has a kid is kind of mind-blowing considering how friggin' childish he is, and he's kind of a bad dad, to be to be frank. Like, he's supportive and stuff, and he's fun, but, um, yeah, he's not, not very good at being a dad. <laughs> Alright. So, let's double-check this. Yep, the crabs. Alright, hit me. Yep, there we go. infinite health so let's now we can just melee everything uh i mean key it reloads pretty quick i think it doesn't reload in the sequel maybe it's been quite a while i know they changed quite a bit and improved a lot on this game in the sequel so for the sake of uh Longevity, I'm just gonna <coughs> go around and grind this area out again. This might actually take a couple streams on this one, thinking about it. I forgot about all the little puzzly side quest things that you gotta do. But, still shouldn't take too long. There's really only three boss fights in the whole thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's, well, wait, no, there's... Five. There's um the guy we're gonna the guy we're gonna who just took Goku. I totally forget its name. Um the both Saiyans who are one fight. I mean they're they they're in two stages, but it's definitely just like one fight. Um the Ginyu Force and Frieza. So it shouldn't be too difficult. All right, grab the Senzu bean. And continuing on. Now, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Pretty sure to get up there, I just have to fly. But flying is a, a very limited resource in this, so I want to be careful. A 
Uh, smack, smack him. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be back over in this area later, so I don't need to worry about whatever's in here. No, I've never seen a speedrun in this game. I'm sure there's something, because like there's speedruns of the most obscure friggin' games out there. Oh, nope, that's not how you get up there, I guess. Ooh, I hope I didn't just waste all that. Hmm. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Uh... I think you're a little late on that there, Goku. There we go. So, yeah, I'm continuing the Pokemon playthrough on Saturdays, but since I finished Paper Mario, I'm going to these games for, I don't know, probably a month or so, however long it takes to get through all three. I think the last one's a little longer, but, like, I should be able to clean through this one in, like, in, uh, two sessions, and then I'll probably, hmm, what will I do after that? I think I'll probably do some multiplayer stuff. Yeah, I got a couple of friends. I need to figure out how to get one of my friends a mic. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Hmm. I uh, My plan is basically just to probably send him one of the, my not-so-great mics, since it's just gonna be for Discord, and Discord doesn't have the most intensive audio requirements. So it should be good enough for that. Um, hmm. Can I walk between these trees? What am I supposed to do here? I keep seeing all these things, but I can't seem to figure it out. And I don't think you can come back after a certain point. So, let's see. Maybe, can I go up this? Oh, okay, you can go up from that direction. So, you can't go over the hard line, but you can go over that bit. Right. I don't even know what it is I just grabbed. Hopefully it's useful. Um. Shit. Ah, fuck. I thought it was on there. Oh well. Let's just go and crush these squirrels for a second. Oh, I might have already gotten all of them. Uh, yeah. Feels bad. It does, but it's like you only have so many opportunities for ways to gain XP. Especially this early in the game, so kind of, kind of have to. Hmm. Any sneaky secrets? I do not want to miss them. Got him. Got him. And got him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I realized the code, the reason I was doing it wrong is because you have to do it during that opening cutscene of the, like, horribly compressed video. Which, to, to be clear, any rip of original Dragon Ball uh, would have looked bad. Like, it was coming out when we only had standard definition TVs, which are, I think, like, 240p native? So, it wouldn't have looked much better. It would have looked a little less pixelated, I guess. It still would have looked pretty bad. Alright, I'm gonna... Save. Game saved. Okay. Let's continue on. Yep. Uh, you need your egg. Uh, grab that rock. Oof. One of the bigger things is, um, the actual perspective is a little fiddly. Like, this is clearly supposed to be up, right? Like, there should be a wall here, so I should be able to go behind that. But, I can't. Like, even with this perspective, because they didn't program it that way. So, it's not the worst, and it's not great. 
Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, let's go back up. I'm realizing this game's a little longer than I remember. Not by much. So it's it's still gonna be pretty manageable. But um yeah, I might I I should still only need two, three sessions. I think. I don't remember. It's hard to say. What what are we gonna get? It, it, it. Come on, go down, go down, go to sleep, mm, go to sleep. Go. <laughs> A lot of this early bit is kind of grindy, as you just find every single living creature and take them out. Uh, oh. Can I not go? Oh. Oh. Something here? No, you just can't go behind the tree trunk. Yeah, once again, weird, weird perspective. Mm -hmm. How the hell do I get back there? Hmm. Oh, right. This is where I died last time, so... No worries this time. Hey, Chiaotzu. Hello. Oh, sweet. Experience. Nice, a thousand experience points just for talking. You gotta keep that in mind. You can just talk to people and get experience. Well, time to get the gift of the gab, you know what I'm saying? Now, what are those? Is that just upgrades for the fly? Is it an upgrade or is that just like replenishing it? Because half of them you have to fly to get to, so I feel like. Not worth it. Yeah. The other thing I like about this is that it's kind of like a beat em up RPG. Like you're going around and you're just kinda fighting, but you're you're leveling. You're getting all sorts of fun little story bits and side quests. It's interesting. I I'm real sad that they haven't done more of this for Dragon Ball Z because I would probably be more interested in Dragon Ball GT's story if I could experience it through this. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Uh, fuck, I can't walk back there? God damn it. That was a sin of a lot of classic gaming was the, um, was not being able to, like, walk into gaps that should clearly fit your character model. Oh, well. Just kind of got to deal with it if you want to do any retro gaming. Is this retro now? I don't know where the line's at. This one's almost 20 years old, so... Okay, so these are just replenishing your fly. Whoops. Ah, shit, I wasted a lot of that. Shit. That's okay. Um, do I just fly across? Ah, yes, I see. <clears throat> That's the thing is, uh, when you can fly, it's... GameCube does apply, uh, qualify as retro. Yeah, GameCube, PlayStation, all the PlayStation's from the 90s, so GameCube and, like, original Xbox are considered retro at this point. So, I feel like, uh, I'm not exactly sure when this came out. I wasn't actually paying attention when it started up and did all that business. Oh, can I get back there? I think I could fly down. Uh, I don't think the herbs are worth it. Especially because I have infinite HP on, so it's not going to really matter to me. 
Um, ooh, wait, I think I can go around here to get the egg to her. No, no, I gotta go all the way back around. Shit. Yeah, having limited flying, and when I say limited, it's incredibly limited. Like, it, it goes down in like seconds, so you basically, you basically get one quick jump. Um, and if you mess it up, you're just fucked, which is is frustrating. It's it's certainly a very primitive game, this one. But I still have. I still have some uh, some nostalgia for it, you know? It's mainly the second one. The second one is way better. And Legacy of Boo's okay. Uh, not quite the same. Hmm. Ah, that's what the rocks are for. Okay, I need one more. Let's see. Oh, hey, Capsule Corp tent. Now, does that mean he works for Capsule Corp, or does that just mean that the tent was in a capsule? I don't know. It sounds like a pretty easy sell. Like, tents are already based on how portable they are. Um, hmm. Where's that last stone? I have not gone across the river yet, so it might just be over there. But for the time being, let's get this dinosaur egg to this pterodactyl. Pop it in. Or maybe just talk. Ah. Nice. Level 6 already. That's pretty good. Mmm, last stone. There it is. Okay. Let's go back and help that guy out and get the experience. The thing is, these are technically side quests. Technically, but you kinda gotta be able to to um, upgrade like all this shit to really like make it through the game. So, technic, like, optional isn't really optional in this one. Bam. I got herbs. I got experience. I am faster now. I do like that as a mechanic. The uh, getting to go faster. Whoop. Ah, shit. I don't want to waste my fly. Uh, let me save real quick. If I remember correctly, this is one of those games where you got to save fucking constantly. Uh, even with infinite HP, it's like... Once you get past something, ugh. I sense a powerful presence. Come at me. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Dinosaur. Get him. Get him. He bites. He bites. Yeah, this without the infinite HP, this specific fight is pretty much where the run would end. Like, it already ends with the wolves most times, but like here, you're just fucked. <laughs> if you don't have infinite HP, there's no way to beat this guy. And getting to the boss fight later, it's like, it, it's it's really, really challenging. So, yeah, glad glad for that that cheat mode. I'm not gonna be using any cheats on the next game, because it they, I wouldn't say nerfed it, it's still pretty challenging, but like, they, they definitely made it more manageable. Plus, like, you get different characters and stuff. It's a whole fun time. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here, nobody asked for you. Nobody asked for you. Can you go across? Yes. Nice little shortcut. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure... I gotta help this guy so that I can go through that window up there to get to the actual boss fight. No, so that I can go up there. <laughs> right, so I, yeah, I just gotta do everything in the forest here. Um, so that he will let me through to fight my brother. 
Vegetable name, I don't remember. What's the, what is Goku's brother's name? They didn't actually introduce him with a name earlier. And it's been so long since I've like, uh, since I've watched or read Dragon Ball Z. Raditz, that's the one. Yep, we gotta go. We gotta kick Raditz's ass. Shit, what did this kid actually say? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, right, lost kid. Where, where was this kid at? Hey, a drum. Oh, I see. Oh shit, that's what herbs can look like? Oh, I left some behind earlier. Hmm. Okay, you didn't really need an interior on that one, I don't think. But, all right. Uh, let's see. Yep. Mm, boat, it's on the island, gotta go get it. I got it. Here you go, kid. All right, there's quest one. Grab some herbs. Take out the snakes. Uh, oh, more herbs. Wow, they're really generous with these. Oh, but there's actually there's actually a hold limit. What the fuck? I don't remember that. Yeah, whatever. I'm. <laughs> I don't need any of the herbs. I'm kind of just picking them up for the sake of completion, I guess. I'm not even doing like 100% run on this. Although it wouldn't be hard. There's not really much optional stuff. Uh, I might 100% the next one since all you really have to do optionally is um the is find the Namekians and the Golden Capsules and then do the cooler fight. Which I've never actually done the cooler fight because I've never gotten all of the Namekians. Which I feel kinda... I feel a little self-conscious about you. Oh, I did, I did do that good. Hey, it's Yamcha. The most screwed over character in the entire series. Cause like, at the... In Dragon Ball, he was like, super formidable and he was like, on level with the rest of them, but then once, once, uh, the Saiyans popped up, it's like, well, we're fucked, actually. All of the humans are basically useless. Same with Tien. Tien was like incredibly intimidating. And in Dragon Ball, like he did some nuts maneuvers, but then later he just kind of, kind of became a background element. Yeah, he. Get the fuck out of here. All right, I don't think I even need that. But hey, is that cat? I haven't even found the person who's looking for the cat yet. Okay, let's, uh, get out of here. Who wants this cat? Uh, I can't fly with her, I'm pretty sure. Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo. Really, like, Piccolo and the Saiyans are pretty much the only ones who matter after... Honestly, by the Frieza saga, like, Krillin's there, and he's, like, a plot element, but... Um, okay, kid. It's because I have the cat. I can't get her at the same time. Um, yeah, it's... It's annoying, man. They, they built up all these characters in what I will say is probably the best series. Like, I don't really like Z, Z very much. Like, the Cell Saga, pretty solid, but... In comparison, all of Dragon Ball is so much more fun than Dragon Ball Z, like, they're going around doing adventures. I, I think the big emblematic thing is that the most fun parts of uh, Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball, not Z, was that they, they would actually, like, have full arcs where they're going out to get 
um, where they're going out to get the Dragon Balls. And it was so much fun. You got to see all the different strange places that they found the Dragon Balls at. Uh-oh. Oh, controller died. Hold on. And that was the best part of the the series. And then when they... uh, Hold on now. Gotta reconnect the controller. Um, when they got to Dragon Ball Z, it's like... It would just be, we need the Dragon Balls. And then they would just, within like a couple pages, just be have a montage of, we got them. It's like, okay. It's pretty disappointing. Oh, come on. Why is it not connecting? There it is. All right. Let me make sure the controls are still correct. Da, 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 da. Yes. There we go. Hmm. Whose cat is this? Okay, it died again. Hold on. I'll be RB. I gotta go grab another controller again. Okay, okay, I'm back. I got a controller. That actually works. Uh, wait. Wait. Now, oh, damn it. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta reset the, uh... Stuff. I think that did it. Yes, okay, we're back. My bad. Alright, I gotta figure out whose goddamn cat this is. I think it might actually be the guy at the observatory that I'm trying to help out. Hold on. Hold on, let's go check it out. Oh god, my mouth's a little gunked up, sorry. Had a spoonful of cookie butter. It's delicious, but it gunks your mouth right up. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Right, this is your cat. There we go. So that's not enough. I have to help everybody, but that's, that's something. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, oh yeah, and I'll save. It's important to save as often as possible in these games. Mm, now I gotta help the girl out, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. This is the whole shebang. Did I talk to... I talked to... 
Yamcha and um Hura? Hey, cat Cat Man Man who is a cat. Hold up. Well I gotta go up this way anyways to get there. Talk to you right. Yeah, I talked to them. Okay. <clears throat> I'm also going to take out that pterodactyl one more time. Because it's a lot of XP. And while I don't need to worry about health as much, uh, the higher my level, the faster I can take out different creatures and things. Yep, let's go. Let me just grab that. And... I'll just walk it back home. Only takes a couple minutes. That should get us the XP. Then we should be able to go through and fight Kraditz, as one over two reminded me. Thanks for that. Oh, shoot, I gotta charge my phone too. It's a 5%. I don't want to miss out on the chat or anything like that. This house? I think it's this house. Let me in. Yeah, here we go. Uh, there we go. 500 experience points, and we can probably go through the dragon's mouth to fight Raditz. Which means that we're already about a quarter of the way through the game. Like I said, pretty short game. I might do it over two sessions, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna at least do the Vegeta Nappa fight um, in this session. I, what? It's not it. Um, hmm. What am I missing? Get out of here. What haven't I done? I gave the egg, I did the bridge. This kid, do I talk to him? Oh, okay. What's up? Hmm, flowers. Okay. Where are flowers? Up here, maybe? I don't think I explored this area. Uh, no, nothing up in there. Hmm. What do I... What do I find a flower? Oh, you know what? It's probably in that little secret nook down here. Near where I, uh, found her. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. That's not good. Yeah, it was down here. Right, that's probably why this guy's here. As a deterrent. Uh, right, let me load back up on some wing. And we will continue. Continue onwards. How's the audio, by the way? I don't, uh, I don't have any way to monitor it for this game. Oh, there's the flowers. Any of these emulated games, I can't listen to the music, unfortunately. Because of a glitch in OpenMU. Where... You can't use dual audio devices. It's not the worst thing, but it is an annoying thing. So, yeah, I'm working with what I can. Hopefully, I'll eventually be able to get the PC version of OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. And we will be able to do a little more with this whole situation. Get out of here. Get out of here. I didn't ask for you. Uh, 
Yep, herbs. Don't need them. All right, I got the flowers. Give them to the kid. I think that does it. Hopefully. Cool, 400 experience points. Now let's go check with the guy. Yeah, there we go. Turn blue. So I'm gonna save. And then we're going. Hmm. And now we can do solar flare. It's uh, not actually that useful, it just kind of stuns. I don't recall using it all that much when I used to play this. Uh, let me check around for any secrets before I get into this. What's this? Hmm, weird. Oh, those are all over the place. What are they? Hmm. Uh, let me head up here and see. Hmm. Okay, I guess I can't go up there. That's weird. That's fine, I guess. And I don't think you just fight him right out. You have to, like, talk to him first. Hey, Gohan. Um, I mean, he's not in the capsule. Can we just, like, can we just go? Can we leave? No? Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Rule the universe. Whole shebang. Later. So, yeah, with the infinite health, it's uh, just kind of mashing for the boss fights. He has a lot of health, so I just have to wait. There we go. Oh, I didn't level up from that. Uh... And we have to wait for Piccolo to slowly work his way over and do the thing. Don't be a fool! Special beam cannon! They're dead. Yep. Oof. Goku's dead. And we're dead! There's the... There's this guy. The Ox King? No, this isn't the Ox King. It's the other guy. And there's Kami. Yep, and then two more Saiyans popping up, so... We gotta go meet King Kai. Go on Snake Way, which... Is just kinda long in this. Uh, especially with the, the cheat that I'm using. Yep, Snake Way. It's just kind of very perpendicular. Perpendicular? It's very squared off. Lots of corners. And you just kind of walk along. Not, not a ton of challenges in Snake Way. Although, is this the one where you fall off at one point? I can't remember if that's this game or the sequel. Uh, some some's gonna go down. Pretty sure also you can fly across. Whoops. Oh, guess I don't have any flight. That sucks. Oh well. Hey, hey, it's this chick. And then we fight. Uh, here's the thing is like, this is pretty much all I'd be doing even if I wasn't using the cheat. The only difference is I'd be dying every couple minutes. So all I'm really doing is streamlining it so that I don't have to keep resetting. It's a very button mashy kind of game, this first one. Whoa! Then you just have to fall there. Okay, yeah, I remember this. You gotta get 
get the stuff. There's the ghosts. Hey, heck you. Heck you. Go down. Can I kill these? Can't actually remember now. Taking a lot of damage. I guess they are ghosts, so. Yeah, whatever. They're not hurting me. Alright. What'd you want? Right, and now I have to talk to the spirits to figure out where the hell he is. Oh, Goku, you, you, you're, you're a fucking idiot. Hey, listen, we're all idiots sometimes, just uh, maybe not as often as this dumbass. All right, what do you gotta say? No, talk to me. What do you gotta say? Can I actually take them out? Hold on. Oh, I took damage, looks like. The fuck? How did that happen? I have the cheat on, how do I take damage? I don't get it, I don't get it. Okay. What's up? Hmm. Pretty sure I gotta get some of that fruit. Uh, I do not remember how, but I will have to get that fruit. Um, can I talk to this guy? No. Nope. Alright. Yeah, this part I remember being ridiculous too. As you can probably tell, they're super hard to hit, although they don't do very much damage, so I don't actually... not sure. Not sure how hard it was. Yeah, gonna go down? There it is. I think there's specific spirits I'm supposed to talk to. Because if I try talking to these guys, I just punch. So, don't think that they are useful to me. There we go. And nothing. Okay. That was a waste of time. Part of this design does make it feel kind of natural and organic, like this is probably what the world actually is like. <coughs> But, uh, not, a. Uh, it's not exactly a good thing when I'm trying to play a game and have a fun time, you know? <coughs> okay. 1 over 2 says the audio is okay. So, I'm chill with that. Come on, now. Come on now, go down, go down. Hold on, let me see. Let's see how much, like, how much XP I actually get from these guys. See if they're worth it. A thousand, shit, yeah, these guys are super worth it. Just take that sweet goddamn time going down. Oh, nope. They keep faking me out. Oh, I can go behind this building. So that's... that's good. Just kind of attacking blind at this point. Yep, took him out. Okay. Just pop, pop, pow. Senzu bean. Very useful. Okay, I'm maxed out on Senzu beans, so... Yes, it's not that useful for me. Shit. Phone is at 2%. 
And actually, I should probably take a break anyways, so let me just fly down here. I will save. And then I'm going to take a quick break. So don't go anywhere. Folks, don't touch the internet dial. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Um, one over two says not to trust his ears because he's got low standards regarding audio. Hey, it's all cool, you know? I feel like I have ridiculously high standards for audio. Also, I forgot to plug my phone in. One sec. <laughs> uh, let's grab this. Um, uh, charging cable. Plug that in. Okay, I think I think that'll work. It's a little weird, but should be okay. And also, I mean, the audio for this I put my almost put my headphones on just out of instinct, but I can't actually hear the audio in this one. Uh, the audio for this is not going to be great, anyways, because it was a GBA game, so it's all like really simple mono MIDI kind of shit. Hmm, looking for a spirit, eh? All right, so right now we gotta find the, the fast guy. We gotta distract that guy so we can get one of the fruits of life. And we gotta find that guy's specific spirit, I guess. Can I help you, can I help you? Nope, that's an enemy. I can't remember, there's supposed to be a way to tell the difference between which ones are enemies and which ones aren't. But uh, do not know what it is. Oh my god, these guys are so s slippery. 
They're worth it though. They got a thousand, a thousand friggin' experience points. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, what? That's a glitch. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Okay. Yeah, what the fuck? These are supposed to be completely different elevations, but I guess they, they messed that up. Whoops. Oh, works for me. Not that I need to get up there, but... Now I know. Uh, let's just pop up here. Just keep Krim out. That guy's not moving. So I'm pretty sure that means that he's one of the actual NPCs that I gotta do stuff with. But we'll find out in just a second, because I gotta take this guy out. Um... Yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. You know, I know it's like uh, Thursday night, Friday morning, whatever, and that's not exactly the time when most people would be watching and stuff, but... Uh, okay, I think... I think he's the one I need to take back to the gym. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate a great deal. And hey, you know what else I'd appreciate? Uh, if you considered following. You know, it's free for you if you have an account. And... It would definitely help the channel. I'm trying to get to the 50. I'm at 26 now. A little over halfway there. So, if you haven't followed already, please, please consider doing so. I, I, I'd, I'd appreciate it. I'd like you. I'd like you for doing that. So, if you could do that, I would be happy. It's always a good stream when I can, uh, when I can get a follower. Although, uh, if I can stay over like three average viewers that's also usually the best time nice okay so that's that sorted out what next um gotta figure out the speed stuff he's very fast which means what how do I, how do i know where to catch him I don't know. I might have to look up a walkthrough on this one. It's It's been a long time. I used to be able to like get through most of this game pretty quick. Except for the maze at the end. That maze is going to be a fucking nightmare, I can tell you already. Because it's just... It's, it's one of those teleporting kind of mazes that a lot of games like this used to do. Where they're just kind of like freaking gibberish. Uh... And like there's no logic to any of it. I don't know why they did that in a lot of older games. It was just frustrating. I get, I get the appeal of having a maze because it's like, oh, built-in puzzle, but it'd be nice if the puzzle was fun, you know? Come on, come on, go down, go down. Eventually, eventually they will go down. Hmm. Uh, yeah, part of it is forced longevity stuff. You're right, but like, I don't know. It mostly ends up being frustrating. Um. Oh, okay. I think I got to also take this guy over to the fitness area. Come on, come on, go down. Go down, go to sleep, go to sleep. Come on now. Nice, level nine. Alright, uh, and now I gotta go take this guy back. I think there's a third one somewhere. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> yeah, since you can only take one guy at a time anyways. Get out of here, get out of here. What do you ask for you? Take him out. Take him out. It's 
It's a little fucked up, you know? They're having to die a second time. Feels, uh, feels mighty cruel. In fact, a lot of this feels kind of cruel. Like all those squirrels. I didn't know what was coming to them. The snake. I don't think the snakes even really hurt me. Seem, seems pretty mean, Goku. Come on now. Come on now. I'm curious what the level cap in this is. I've never gotten there, I don't think. Um, but there has to be one, right? The game has to cap out eventually. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to maybe figure that out. Because I, I think this is one of those games that kind of forces you to 100%. Because if you don't, it doesn't let you progress. Hello. Another boy for you. And then we're gonna keep on going. I think there's just a third one here. And then we have to figure out this tree situation. And where that uh, red Oni went. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Go down. There we go. Level 10. That's pretty good. 10 levels. I mean, it's, it's double digits. It's better than, uh... I'm just rambling. That's what I do half the fucking time on this stream. My brain is tired. And my mind is broken. How are you doing? And that's all of them. Red Devil and the Magical Barrier. Okay, the devil is distracted already. And the barrier is up, so I guess I can go. Can I just go and get it? Let's see, if I just walk up, is he gonna stop me? Hmm? Ah, two birds, one stone. Nice. Oh. There we go. Okay. Let's go train with King Kai. Hey, oh. He's just not even paying attention to the uh, elevation. All right. God damn it. Alright, let's just yeah, zoom along. Ooh, this is a tedious one. Oh, that's why I took some damage. Because of sneak way. Yeah, it's it's so incredibly just tedious. There's there's like that one fight and um that little area I fell off to. But that's that's kinda just it. There's not really any other challenge to it. There we go, King Kai's planet. Very small, very small. Let's talk to King Kai. Where the hell is King Kai? Um, oh wow. Oh wow, this is quite large. Kinda sucks that it doesn't loop around. I uh, figured half the fun of King Kai's planet is that it's so small you can walk around the whole thing. 
in a matter of minutes. Seconds, even. Hmm. There he is. A little cricket. Alright, Kid Kai. Saiyans, universe, planet. The high gravity... I don't... I'm not a scientist, but I'm pretty sure that the smaller planet is, the lower the gravity is. Hey. I got him. And then where's Gregory? Where's that boy? Bonk. Bonk. Nope. Hold on. Come on, get back here. Come on now. <laughs> get him. There we go. Hmm. Hey, Kamehameha. Yep. Alright, got the Dragon Balls. Ooh, animated cutscene. Brr, your wish is granted. Alright, and now we have the Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Nice. Hmm. Alright, the Wastelands. Oof, Mr. Popo. Uh, it never gets easier seeing you, but <laughs> like, listen, I get it. Um, uh, I mean, it could be dense, but then there's a problem that it should be close to being a black hole. That's a good point. Yeah, the uh, density. It. Uh, I don't know. It's also it's like by Snake Way, so wouldn't it be pulling parts of Snake Way into itself? Isn't that part of, like, how gravity works? Uh, oh. Okay, I solved that problem before I even realized it was one. Nice. Alright. Save the kid. Do I slide on this ice? Nah. I'm... Um, tears. Tears for your fears. Ah! Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Get him. Get him. Come here, that boy. Get him. Yeah, come here, man. Doesn't feel much stronger than the uh, standard key blast. If I'm being honest. All right, we're just gonna go with the key blast. Come on now, go down, go down. Is the melee stronger? I think the melee might be a little stronger just to compensate for how uh, how difficult it is to do without a cheat. Get out of here. Wolf. Um. That it's a little weird that they decided to have uh, King Kai teach you the Kai the blah, blah, the Kamehameha, not the Kaioken, which is like the whole reason he was up there originally. Although the Kaioken got like completely overridden by the um, by Super Saiyan forms later on, anyways. So I guess it's not that important. Plus, they might have had a bit of trouble like implementing it into the actual mechanics of the game since it's a little eh, it's a little more complicated than just a Kamehameha blast that's it okay this this area is very small so I guess we're scooting on hello 
Huh, how is the stock market doing today? Probably not great, coronavirus been fucking shit up. Hello, businessman? Hmm. The city, okay. Uh, I can't go that way. Wow, even the potholes have Capsule Corp on them. Hello? Uh, hmm. Is that supposed to be, uh, Dr. Briefs? Didn't very much look like him, so... I cannot tell. Oh, hey, Capsule! Nice. Whose child is this? Where, where do I drop off this child? Here, here, here. None of these buildings have doors. None of these buildings have doors. The Senzu beam, but I don't need it. I'm cheating. Hmm. One of these buildings? Let me in. Let me in. God damn it, I gotta loop around. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Someone's trying to rob the bank. They can't do that. That's illegal. Buddy. Hmm. Okay. Uh oh, a capsule? I don't get experience for that one? Hmm. The police are incompetent, you say. Perish the thought. That's all I'm going to say on that, that matter. Oh, the police is a dog. It's just robbers? I don't think they can handle the commit. You're going to do nothing, really. You're just literally walking right in front of you. Uh, all right, let me... Uh, whoop. How do you get back there? Get back here. God damn it. Nope, I don't want to lose track of him. He's gonna, I can already tell he's going to be a pain in the ass. Let me punch him. You even gonna shoot or anything, dude? Or yeah, he's shooting. There we go. Wow, just murder him in cold blood, huh? Okay. Huh, Abbey Road. References. Uh, whoa. That's not what I meant to do. Shit. Did the other robber respawn? Hope not. I think I think not because it's a quest thing. Yep, get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, this game may actually sucks pretty bad. Not very effective. Back here. Bastard. Bastard man. Honestly, I'm on the robber's side here, because, like, the bank's insured, so they're not taking the money of anything but a big corporation. Uh, they are shooting me, which is annoying, but, like, mm, it doesn't really hurt. I got 1,500 experience points. Do, 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 do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, Goku does not want to be a cop. Yep. And do I go through what, what? the bank? Okay, why'd you even make an interior for it if I can't do anything with it? Yeesh. All right, I got two capsules, so I'm gonna go back to that um, scientist in a minute. Hello. Okay, let me go give those capsules to the scientist. See if he does anything with them. I don't think it's supposed to be Dr. Briefs. Thinking about it. Oh, wow. Ah. Uh, huh. 
Okay, I guess just the one matters. Save. How close are we? Ooh, very close to the next level. Hmm, kind of useful. Okay, that's pretty much the city area. Uh, wow. Yeah, I might get through the Vegeta in just a couple hours. Uh, I think I will keep going then. See if I can hit the Ginyu Force before the end of the stream. Hell, if at this rate, I might even be able to just beat the game in this stream. That'd be cool. Either that or I'm going to have to have an awkward little ending bit at the beginning of the next stream. Hello. Check out the whole army. Yep. Go, oh, go. Oh. King Kai. I, yes, I'm on my fucking way right now. In fact, I've got slowed down by you, dude. Come on now, don't distract me. I mean, are you gonna stop me? No. Okay then. Hmm. I did not hear what's going on. What's going on, army man? Tell me. Tell me what's going on. Let me talk to this nurse. What's up? Oh, she healed me up. That's that's very nice of her. Didn't really need it. I guess I was a little low on health, but that was uh, environmental damage. All right, get ready. It's time to fight. Where are they? Up here? Hey, it's Nappa. It's Vegeta! Oh, jeez. He's a tease fight. And once again, it's just button mashing. Oh, okay, I guess I gotta move around a little bit to make sure that I'm actually hitting him. So exciting. I swear, things get a lot more exciting than other games. The fucking... Uh, key moves get a lot more interesting, for sure. There we go. There we go. Got him in the loop. So, just gotta mash it up. There we go. Fuck you, Nappa. Now it's your turn, Vegeta. Prince of all sins. I can't do any of those voices. I could probably do a decent Goku if I worked on it, but eh. <laughs> he is, I like that they did make him noticeably shorter. With these sprites, not easy, but uh, it was worth it. That's fun. Fuck you, Vegeta. Fuck you. Sean Shemmel. Actually, I think Sean Shemmel was Goku. I don't follow anime dub voices very much. I know a few of them, but uh, for the most part, I feel like the only good dub artist was uh, Steve Bloom. Yep, enough is enough. Oh, he's even stronger now. Oh boy. Can you believe how strong he is? See, the adventuring parts of this game are a lot more fun because, uh, you're actually doing stuff. Whereas here, I'm just, uh, yep, I did it. 30,000 points. Hooray! Wait, what? Oh, yeah! It's gonna do this. There he goes. He's big boy. No! It's Yajirobe! Yep. Mm-hmm. Turn him back. Oh no, I am also changing. Or Gohan's changing at yeah, whatever. Somebody stop him. Uh kill Vegeta. I mean. Right, and then he's gonna run off to Namek, get the other Dragon Balls. And now we're going into the Namek Saga. Yep. 
Optonomic. Young Johnny Bosch. Oh, who did young Johnny Young Bosch play in uh, Dragon Ball? Um, options as well. Tech speed. Hi, hi, dude. It's so fucking slow. All right, there we go. Odo. Oh, no. Y'all got fucked up. <clears throat> All right, I got to find the saplings. Let's see. I don't think this is one. No. Um, fuck you. Now we get the most interesting villains in the game. Or, well, enemies. In the, uh... Frieza soldiers. Because they are... About as strong as Raditz was. Pretty sure. And they actually have different designs for each one. So yeah, now we're, we're off to, uh... Oh, Broly. I don't actually know Broly that well. I haven't watched any of the movies with him or anything. Hey, what the fuck is up? <laughs> He's, look at this fucking Yoda motherfucker. <laughs> He's so small. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> What's up? Everything's gone. Yep, doors few shut. I'm looking for trees. What are you at? Oh, they got dinosaurs. <laughs> Broly, what's Broly's deal? Isn't he like, um, fuck, what is it? He's like a, a Saiyan who was like frozen or like sealed away or some shit. And he's like a billion times stronger. Or he's like, he's the original Super Saiyan that the legends are based on or something. I don't fucking know. I'm spitballing. Cause I only I only pl really played these games and watched the show, so any of the movie stuff, really really don't know. Hmm. Right. Um. Yeah. What uh? What is Johnny Young Bosch known for? Doing mostly then, because like most anime VAs have a specific character or two that they voice. Hmm. Born at the same time as Goku. Oh, that was a sapling. Well, good. I needed one of those. I think I need three. I want to say. Back here. Get back here. I need to grind. Oh, Vash the Stampede, yeah. I need to watch more Trigun. I remember not being great. It was definitely that era of like super edgy, ooh, this guy's the strongest thing ever, fucking like uh, Vampire Hunter D kind of stuff, which isn't necessarily bad. It's just like, it's a very specific feel of anime. Um, but yeah, I always loved Vash the Stampede's design. So, I've always wanted to watch a little bit more of that. Get back here. Get back here. And then, uh, Bleach. I, I could not care less about Bleach, to be honest. It looks real silly, but everything I've seen just makes it look like the most bland shonen fighting show ever. It's kind of the same reason I don't care for Dragon Ball as much, or Dragon Ball Z as much as I do Dragon Ball. Cause like, Dragon Ball Z is kind of just a fighting anime. We, isn't it fun? It's the same thing that happened to Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho at the beginning was so much more interesting because it like, it was all these interesting mysteries and stuff, and you had to find out about all these ghosts. But like. And just become tournament arc after tournament arc and fighting. And like, yeah, a lot of the characters they fought were pretty neat, but it was dull. Eh, 
Come here. Get him. Get him. Power Rangers in space. I watched some of that one as a kid. Um, I'll have to track it down. Which ranger was he? Uh, where else do I plant these? Oh, there's another one. Come on. Come on. Right? Yeah, I have more trees. What's up? Plant? There we go. Gotta get it from behind. Got it. There we go. That's all the trees. So I can move on. After I take out this guy for the experience. Level 14. And this guy. Get over here. Get over here. Anybody else I can murder? Anybody else to fight? Second, second Mighty Morphin Black. CO Green. First Green Turbo Ranger. Mmm. Okay. Ah, I'm always tempted to go back and watch more of Power Rangers, like the original series. Because, like, one of my. Uh, the movie, the first Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie was like my favorite movie growing up. Um, or at least for a chunk of my childhood. Like I watched it a million times and I watched Turbo once or twice, but I never really s watched the shows as much. Um, da -da 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 -da. How do I get back up? I know. Why? There we go. And that's this area done. Ah. Here we go. Here we go. Time for the fucking maze. I think there are two mazes even. This temple. This temple is a fucking nightmare. Uh, and I'm going to get real annoyed. I can tell you that right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, Power Rangers in general is pretty campy. Um, from what I understand, the original show was, like, a lot more interesting, like the original Japanese Sentai show. Because, like, they, they had a bit more of a deep story than just, oh, Rita th threw down another monster. Let's fight it. Ah, now the monster's big. Get the Zords out. Oh, and we're still losing. Combine into the Megazord. We win. And we wrap it up at the juice bar. <laughs> oh, fan list of much what? Yeah, because there's not like a very deep overarching plot for, uh,. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, right? It's pretty much just a, like, week by week, a uh, new monster each time kind of thing, right? Get the fuck, get back here. Get back here. Yeah, whatever. Come here. Face my reckoning. Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's King Kai. Hmm. Right, 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 right. I remember that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the whole thing in here is you gotta find, like, three orbs and then place them on three pedestals in that temple. And it's a... The temple is a pain in the ass. Cause it's just like a shitty teleportation maze with like a billion branching shits. All sorts of nonsense. Oh damn, I'm taking these guys out pretty quick now. That's good. It's gonna help me a lot later. There's blue orb. 
I saw the red orb back there, so I'm gonna go get it in a bit. Ah, magical artifact. Right. Come back here. Come back here. There we go. Let's see, is the red one up here, or am I gonna have to fly to get it? Actually, I might be able to finish this one stream. I might go a little bit longer than planned just to uh, finish this off, because I feel like by the time I hit three hours, I'm gonna be basically at the end. Right, I've heard RPM is really good as far as Power Rangers goes. I am i mean, I'm on board with the, the idea. Like, I remember enjoying the show as a kid, and like, I know it's not the most, like, a uh, uh, complex thing, but it's it's still like pretty entertaining from everything I've seen. We got Bulk and Skull. That's all I need. On Bulk and Skull, I can find. Da, 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 da. Let's see, and then I gotta get down there. Ah, shit. Uh, I think this is gonna be the easiest way down. And I'm pretty sure I need one more artifact, but it's in the temple? Maybe. I might have to backtrack. Yeah, I don't know, we'll find out. Gotta deal with this goddamn maze anyways. Alright, got it. Yep. Old temple. Alright. Saving. Time Force. I've heard of Time Force, and I think I might have seen a couple episodes back on TV. Hmm. Not sure, though. It's been a long, long time. Alright. Let's see. So, if I remember correctly, I gotta pay attention to which Dragon Ball each of these statues is holding. Yep. Yep. Teleporting. Alright, so the white one took us over here. Gotta pay really close attention, because it gets really confusing. I don't know, it's also... It was, I was a stupid fucking kid, okay? I, I probably just fucked it up because I'm dumb. Alright, we got yellow and green. Looks like a chamber down there. Hmm. Ho ho, secret. Ah, here's the green artifact. Okay. I'm glad I figured that one out quickly. Hmm, okay. That's the one most like the original. Well, okay, so Time Force, is that the fourth series that they put out in America? Or, um... Is it, is it like fifth? Because I know it went Mighty Morphin, then Turbo, then in space, I'm pretty sure. I could be completely wrong on that. Ooh, ooh, another sneaky secret. Let's follow that along. Show me the secrets. Oh, it's an herb. Well. Thanks anyways, spooky hand. Right, Zeo! Fuck, I forgot about Zeo. All right, now we gotta start uh, using the teleportation pads, I think. Hold on, let me go down first. Yes, okay. So we're gonna try yellow first. Yeah, here, what do you ask for you? All right. I'm just gonna be methodical about this. Hope that I don't get fucked up. With my mental map. Hmm. Secrets? Nope. I gotta pay attention to those hands because those probably point to important shit. If they pointed to the green artifact. Whoop, orange! Fuck. Okay. 
So it went on red, now we're going on orange. Orange takes me back here. So yellow is whatever. Don't need to worry about yellow, so let's try green. Green takes me here, which is where there is a blue and a green. It's the three-star Dragon Ball. Take these guys out real quick. Uh, that's white. Probably takes me back to the entrance. Wow, so it's like, uh, what? So that's Time Force Light Speed, Lost Galaxy Space, Turbo, Zeo. So it's the seventh series? God damn, how many seasons did each of these get? Like, I remember them zipping by really quick as a kid, but I also might have just, like, not been paying very close attention to time and stuff. Kids don't pay attention to time. Years can go by before you even realize what's going on when you're a fucking kid. All right, orange will take me back to that main chamber, so I can ignore orange for right now. Let's see what this secret is. This takes me to the entrance. Okay. So that's good to know. I can get back here via secret. Mmm, okay. Yeah, Power Rangers is one of those series that it's just so ubiquitous now that you could tell me that there's 30 seasons and I would totally believe you. It's probably more than that even. Get fucked. Get fucked. Alright, this is blue. Whoop. I don't need to hit blue again, because I already went through there. Only 28? Really? Huh. I guess, I'm, in my mind, I must be lumping together a bunch of Zeo episodes and Mighty Morphin, because aside from... Zed? Is that the one guy's name? There's not, um... Uh, not a lot between them 28 seasons well that's pretty close in fact 28 that means that there are that it premiered the year I was born because I am 28 or well 28th is the upcoming one so that means yeah maybe it premiered the year after hmm I don't know Power Rangers man there's a lot of it Okay, so those rooms have not helped me so much so far. I've already tried uh, yellow, green, blue. Get back here. Get back here. What do you think you're doing? Right. Yeah, that one started when Jason was the White Ranger, right? Blue, I've already done. Unless it's blue from this specific area, in which case I've been fucking this whole thing up. All right, let's try out red. Where does this take us? Is this, is this a gap? No, no, it's just a weird graphic. Uh, that's yellow. It. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to. Hmm, yep, it changes depending on where you're at. Okay, so let's go through this secret. Right, Tommy. It's fucking, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, whoops, that takes us back here. Let's go by yellow. I'm just gonna ignore these guys. Eh? No. Hmm. Yellow takes me here. <sighs> yep. 
up. Yeah, I'm already getting pretty annoyed at this. This orange takes me back here. Fuck. Okay. Um, green then, I guess. From green to blue. Where am I now? Have I been here yet? Fuck, I don't know. That's true, yeah. I mean, I was very young. Like I said, probably like one or two years old at the time. Uh, fucking here again? Oh no. Oh god, no. It's a whole situation. God damn it. Oh boy. All right, we're getting into this. These, these imply that I'm gonna need to fly around here too. I still haven't found one place to put the artifacts. I'm glad I found the green artifact because that probably would have been a pain in the ass later. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't mean to go in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, key blast. Woo wee. Yeah, here. Yeah, here. Nobody asked for you. Oh boy. Actually, I'm trying to remember if you even fight the Ginyu Force. It might just be Ginyu Force, then straight to Frieza, because you do fight all of his forms. Yeah, I might be able to finish this just in this episode. I can tell I'm supposed to get in there somehow. That area that I just walked by. So, I still have to figure that out. I'm going to try the blue, and then I'm just going to look up a fucking walkthrough, because I don't care. <laughs> Uh, it sucks. Blue. Nope. Takes me to the beginning. Okay. We're looking up a walkthrough on this one. I can't stand this fucking maze. Legacy of Goku. Walkthrough. Here we go. Game facts. Guide and walk. Ooh. Ooh, is this gonna be one of the classic ones with some ASCII art? Hell yeah, it is. Uh. No, this is Legacy of Goku 2. What the fuck? No, no, the original one, guys. There we go. IGN. Let's see, Roshi's house, uh, where is the... Here we go, the temple. All right. Houses are destroyed. Okay, this is all the stuff leading up. Da -da 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 -da. Go as far left as you can. So, okay, through here. Then take the red teleport pad. From there. That is not red, that is orange. Do they mean orange? Did the person who made this, were they colorblind? All right, I'm gonna have to just presume that this is what they meant. The bottom right of this room is a yellow pad. I, oh, wait, what the fuck? I haven't been in this area. Hold on, I might be able to figure this out without the walkthrough. Let me just snap them. All right, level 19. Hmm. Okay, I, ah, fuck. That's fine, I can loop back real quick. All right, so I just gotta go back here, go on the orange. What, duh. And that one didn't help me. There's a green. There's a guy. That's blue. Does blue help me? Blue is back here. Okay. 
then I believe yellow. No, nope, yellow was wrong. Maybe it did? Um, that's a good question. It's, it's hard to say, but I mean, there are red ones and orange ones specifically. I just have to base it off of they told me to go that far left and then go from there. Get back here. And this, that was a loop. Ah, uh, shit. I think the green one takes me back. Oh, boy. Let's see, green one. I think this is the region I need to be in, though? Yes, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna quit f fiddling around and I'm just gonna follow the guide. Okay. Now, in the lower right, there is a yellow. In here, you need to walk down and go onto the path heading left. And then there's gonna be a white pad. And this is... Oh, okay. Then go on to that white pad. That's going to get me to where I need to be. Perfect. Let me see if there's anything else here I should pay attention to. No, nope, everything looks about good. There's six and seven. That's all the Dragon Balls. And then I go through here, and that's the spot. Okay, perfect. So yes, I gotta put down all the artifacts. And that should take me along. Hey, it's that guy. My speed increased. I got 30,000 points. And the left. Or does he mean his left? Hold on. Uh, go onto the white pad and all the way out where you'll meet with your friends again. Okay. That's the fucking temple done. Uh, it said white pad. Oh, there it is. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break before I fight the Ginyu Force here. And actually, I think we're going to finish this off tonight because I'm pretty close to the end, honestly. So, BRB.
Okay, I am back. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna finish this up in the next hour or so. I, I wasn't sure, but yeah, I remember this being pretty short, especially with all the, uh, shit I've done for the, with, uh, the, the, the cheat. Yeah, with the, the infinite health cheat, it makes it a great deal easier. Get out of here. Yeah, the, the Ginyu Force fight is going to be coming right up here in just a sec. Then we're going to fight Frieza, and we're done. Alright, and then you have to fight all five Ginyu Force members separately. In no particular order, but I'm just going to go as I find them, really. And just like the other boss fights are pretty easy. Which kind of sucks, because this was their chance to really, like, do something clever with the different characters of the Ginyu Force. Oh well. Come on now. Go down. Go down. Go down, you fool! Nice, level 20? Maybe the max is 25. Hmm. I don't feel like grinding it out. Alright, this blue man. Shouldn't take more than a couple more. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Go down. Go down. Go sleep. Mm, yes. Poses. And then the Ginyu Force, speaking of Super Sentai, like, they are, like, a Sentai parody, right? Just kind of making fun of how theatrical that whole situation was. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Oh. Only four? I thought the... Didn't the Ginyu Force have five? Mm. I don't know. Works for me, though. So now we just gotta fight through Frieza's ship. And fight Frieza himself. And then that's it. That's the end of this game. Then next next stream, next Monday, I'm gonna start doing streams on Monday because I'm establishing a uh, weekly game night with my sibling on Tuesdays. Um, I'm gonna start gonna start uh, the next game in the series, which I think I can probably get in two sessions. Maybe. I mean, it depends on if I decide to 100% it, which if I do, I'm gonna be using a walkthrough. I'm not gonna actually, like, try and search everything out, because that'd take a billion years. I think with a walkthrough and everything, that game couldn't take that long. I guess there are more, like, long dialogue scenes, so probably be a bit longer for that. Oh, nice. I'm one-shotting these guys now. That's pretty good. Hey. Fuck you. All right. Mmm. That is interesting. Um, I mean, Power Rangers, like, aside from reusing Sentai, like, battle scenes, was a totally different story, right? Up until a certain point. To the east. Okay. So, I'm just gonna take a few of these guys out. Ah, there's no neat little secrets around here. 
So let's... Yeah, let's just move along to freeze a ship. To the east, he said. This way! Do that. Oh god, there's so many. Ooh. Actually, a few of these are maybe a bit stronger. What's up? I don't think I've run into any guys that look like him yet. That's different. We've all had helmets so far, right? Might just be misremembering. Alright, just grab these. And go into Frieza's ship. Get, go into Frieza's ship. Oh, I gotta fly up top, huh? Okay. Let me just... For safety, let's save. There we go. Hey, it's Gohan. Frieza's coming. I don't need to practice on the henchmen. I think I think I'm pretty solid. Okay. Save. And we'll go right into the Frieza fight. Actually I might be able to finish this by one. Yep, rejuvenated. Where's that bastard Frieza? Where is he? Thanks, King Kai. Mm-hmm. Everything's unstable. Gotta wish everybody off. The huge. Where is that motherfucker Frieza? I want to fight him. <sighs> do I have to go into that volcano or something? Krillin. Krillin, what do I do? The northeast. This way. Oh, they skipped stuff. Hey, wait a minute. I remember fighting all of his different forms, huh? Well, all right, let's... Er, is this his first form? Yes, yes it is. What am I thinking? I'm fucking stupid. Like I said, it's been a while since I, uh, since I watched DBZ. Yep, and now he goes into... He goes in tall form. Which isn't really much different. Come on, come on, come on. Down. Go down. Now he goes into friggin' uh Bionicle. What were they called? They were like the Bionicles that could like turn into a ball. What were those called? Gormiti or something? No, Gormiti's a different thing. What the fuck it was like they look kinda like Frieza does now. They look kinda like Frieza does now. They were a Bionicle like enemy. Bo-Rock. Is that what they were called? It's been so long. I loved the idea of Bionicle as a kid, but, uh... Man. That, that... I think that was the most interesting one because it was kind of a Transformer. There he is. Final form. Fight me. Or I think he's gonna kill Krillin, and then I go Super Saiyan. You can do it. Not Krillin. I love Bionicle too. I remember there were the promo like um, shorts they had where each of the Bionicle had like a little like uh, short movie. It was like a web series. I don't I don't remember if it was actually on the internet because I think it was pre YouTube. But that's true. Yeah, all the Bow Rock were the same. They had different colors, I guess. But, yeah, they were just a ball. Come on. Come on. I'm super sane as fuck right now. 
Eat me. Eat me. Fight. Fighting. Go down. Frieza, go down. That's racist, Frieza. Don't, don't talk like this. We did it, and now we get a super compressed cutscene. Online Flash Adventure game. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I didn't really use the internet all that much until like junior high, so like when Bionicle was around, I didn't really get to see a lot of the stuff that was online for it. I did get to go to Legoland at the height of Bionicle though, which was really cool. Uh, the evil tyrant Frieza was defeated at the hands of Goku, the legendary Super Saiyan. Back on the planet Earth, Goku's friends used the power of the newly restored Dragon Balls to wish all of Frieza's victims back to life. The Namekians, now on Earth and without a world of their own, wonder what the future will hold for their people. And that's it. That's the game, guys. We did it. 100%ed. And in fact, it took less than three hours. So I actually overestimated how long it was going to take. We're going to move on to the second game on the next weekday stream, which is going to be Monday. And I'm going to continue Pokemon Shield on Saturday. So, um, so yeah, we're going to go with that, I think. Yep, there's the credits. So thank you very much for watching this. Thanks for inviting me into your home, whether it was on your TV, your computer, your laptop, your tablet, your phone, your game console, however you did it. I hope that I entertained you and that, you know, you had a nice time. If you haven't, please consider following. It would really help the channel. You just gotta click the heart above the stream up there or wherever it's at on the mobile version. And if you have an account, you'll follow. You'll get notifications of when I go live. If you want uh, another way to know when I go live, follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid, which you can also find below the stream here and you will get uh, notifications whenever, or rather, I'll tweet out whenever I go live. So if you set on notifications for Twitter, then you'll get that. And some other fun stuff. I, I mostly retweet, but sometimes I tweet out jokes and stuff that I think are funny enough. Um, you can also, if you came into the stream late and want to see the beginning or any of my other streams, you can see the last 14 on the past broadcast tab, which is up above on the, uh, stre the browser version of the stream. And you can find my personal YouTube down below, at Iggy and the Ape. And the uh, stream archive, which has everything, um, which has everything that I've streamed out, archived on there. So you can check that out. And let's see, anything else? Uh, just, you know, f uh, follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube and stuff. I'm going to be posting up some new stuff on the YouTube pretty soon. I'm working on Whiteboard Game Season 2, which please go watch Season 1. It's all on there. It's pretty fun, I think. And I'm definitely upgrading stuff for Season 2, changing things up quite a bit, but it's still going to be pretty fun. Uh, I'm working on writing it right now, which I should be done with that within a week or two, and then I'm going to move on to not filming quite yet, but it should be going up probably about the same time as it did last year. So... Once again, thank you for inviting me into your home or whatever, and I hope I entertained you. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot to mute, but uh, I... Uh... Well, now where there's only one viewer, I don't really need to raid. All right, good night, everybody.